Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to another video as always, much appreciated. Today we're gonna be taking a look at my absolute favorite top picks for EDC wallets. Depending on when you see this video, there are a ton of sales going on right now for a handful of these wallets. So take a look at the description. I do have some coupon codes for some 15% off offers. But other than that, I hope everybody enjoys. There is a wallet here for everybody, tons of cool styles and companies. So with that, let's not waste any more time and we'll hop right into it. Now, since this is my best of the best, there's gonna be no particular order. So however these appear, it's not a ranking system. Uh, I just chose to start off with this one, the Wingback. Now, when I first got this wallet, I was super impressed. Many wallets that are, you know, compact like this use thinner leathers. This, you know, holds nothing back. It is a very hefty, as you can see here, there's three solid pieces of leather that are stitched together in this offering by Wingback. It is a hand-stitched Tuscan full-grain vegetable leather. It smells like leather, it feels really tough, it feels very durable. A really nice double heavy gauge threading here, which is also custom. It's a little bit extra, but you can get a variety of colorways. But yeah, in terms of manufacturing and materials used here, this spares no expense, and it is probably one of the best feeling wallets in the hand I've ever had the pleasure of using. Again, I said this is heavy gauge threading here, so you're not gonna have any issues with anything pulling apart or ripping. Again, a lot of wallets you'll see around the edging, they use kind of like a sealant. It's almost like a, like a rubberized acrylic that they kind of seal the edges of the wallet. And as you can see on this one here, these are just solid pieces of leather stitched and glued together, and you're gonna have no issues in terms of manufacturing. This is 100%, I call this a forever wallet. And all of these wallets, I would hope that people would have forever, but this one quality wise, this is one that will last you a long, long time. With this company, you can for a little bit extra, just like, you know, customizing and the coloring of the thread. You can get some emboss here on the front and on the inside. You can kind of create your own little wallet with a saying, your initials. In terms of capacity and carrying capacity of this wallet, you have multiple compartments. You have two on the opening here for your cards. And then you have a spot at the back here for cash. Now, if you're from the UK or you're from Europe and you use pounds or euros, you're gonna be able to lay these flat like you would a normal bill. You don't have to do any kind of folding. I'll show you in the video here. We'll kind of cut to it and show you what I'm saying. But in terms of carrying capacity of cash, easily five to 10 bills, whether you lay them flat or you fold them, try fold. For credit cards, you're gonna get six to nine. So three in each flap. And if you do decide to fold the cash and use one of these sides, you can add another three cards there. So I would say up to nine cards if you're gonna be mixing cash and card. These are wallets that you probably will have forever. Top of the top. And uh, I really can't say enough about the Wingback out of a company from the UK. Next up, we have a really cool offering by a company called Black Ink with two Ks. Now, this company is out of Australia, the land down under. And this is an Australian wallet through and through. Now, first things first that sets this wallet apart from anything that I've used or seen thus far is this is made out of a full grain vegetable tan kangaroo. Um, in terms of how it feels, it is definitely a thinner feeling leather. Very, very soft. You know, you look at the grain of this wallet, Again, depending on the grains of how things are manufactured, it'll have a little bit of a difference, but it doesn't really feel much different to cowhide, though lighter. One thing that's really important to know though with kangaroo leather is it is 10 times stronger than a cowhide, which is really cool since this is so thin and light to know that it will actually hold up better than their cowhide brethren. Either way, that's a little bit of a history from the wallet, sourced and manufactured in Victoria and Sydney. But as you can see here, very, very nice stitching, very well put together. The outside of this wallet is unfortunately glued. And I won't say unfortunately, I just, you know, like to see things kind of done that way. But this does feel very stiff and robust. I don't see any issues with this cracking. A lot of the cheaper branded wallets feels very rubbery and plasticky. This one does feel really nice. And from my use thus far, I packed this thing tight. I had no issues and I felt this wallet will hold up really, really well. In terms of carrying capacity, you're gonna have four spots, front and back of the wallet, 
you're going to have four spots, four cards. And if, if you want to carry cash, you have no problem. You're going to have to try fold the bills. Again, I'll show in a little video here, no matter what currency you use, because this is too small of a footprint to lay cash flat, you're going to have to try fold. So depending if you want to use one of these for cash, you're only going to have three spots available for cards, but four, eight, 12 and 16. If you just want to use this for cards. Either way, this is a really great wallet, probably the most compact, light, and for me, most interesting out of all the wallets I use. And so I wanted to include this in my list. I'm always a fan of things kind of pushing the limit. This can be packed super tight. And I really don't think you're going to get a smaller wallet than this in terms of its footprint that's going to carry more than what the black ink offers. So really cool wallet coming in at around $109 and uh, yeah, an amazing company out of Australia. Take a look at the Exto. Now this is kind of sectioned off into three different sections. You have a spot at the top here where you're gonna have your cards. And on the website, you can buy them in different forms. This is the four to 10. But what I've realized is, as you can see, there's a little flex here. You can add plus two cards on whatever variation you get. So whatever you buy, think just to add two to that as this is a really flexible wallet that gives you a lot of space to work with. But anyway, a section on the top for your cards a section underneath for cash or any documents that you might have. As you can see, there's a little bit of a groove here to hold that and then it divots down at the bottom to put some extras. And then at the back, one of the only things that you really need to buy extra for the wallet, and uh, this is considered a um, business card holder, but you can also stick an extra two cards back here as well and then use this to keep them safe and secure. Without this back plate, things kind of slip and slide around back there. How to kind of put these things together in terms of cards, compartments, and cash. Otherwise, three compartments. This wallet is made out of a brushed aluminum. Now what this brushed powder coating does, I don't know if you can kind of see it there, it gives it a little bit of a matte textured feel here. Really great to resist scuffs and scratchings. Avoids having oils from your hands pick it up. And it also kind of gives you, not that it gives you a grip, but it keeps it from being too slippery. We'll pop this open so you can see this bottom plate, which is made out of a stainless steel. This does pick up a lot of fingerprints, unfortunately, but again, you're not gonna be touching this very often anyway. And this little plate is the separator between that back section and the interior of the wallet. And as you can see, made in California, United States of America, California love, what's happening? It's great to see more products made in North America. Very nice to see. So have a little bit of a demonstration here of how you would use this. Again, you can kind of push it a little bit more because it has that little bit of a flex there. And what you're gonna do is kind of, you have your cards here, it takes a little bit of a learning curve, but you put it in the top. You probably don't wanna do it all at once. When it gets in there, it has a little locking mechanism and it'll give a little of a click sound. And that tells you that everything is secure. Nothing is gonna fall out regardless of how hard you shake it. And one thing I really, really appreciate they do have some variety in terms of colors, but I know with a lot of wallets, there's a lot of extras and those extras really boost the price of the wallet. So it kind of brings you in. And by the time you're said and done, the wallet's doubled in price. You're not gonna have this issue with the Exto. Eight to 10 bills at the bottom, around 10 to 12 cards at the top. And uh, at the bottom here, an extra two cards, a really versatile, compact wallet really well put together, robust and, and rigid as you can see here. Let you take the cards out. You can kind of see there's barely any flex, uh, a really, really solid wallet manufactured in the US. Definitely take a look at this one. I don't think anybody will be disappointed. This is the Akini Exto. Let's move on to the Aviator wallet. So here we have the Aviator wallet. Now, as I kind of mentioned uh, with the Exto here, there are some brands out there that offer a lot of customization in terms of basically the look of the wallet or the materials used um, in the construction. And that will boost the price of the wallet significantly from its entry point. This is one of those wallets, but it's put together really well, offers a lot, like I said, in customization. If you want it, you don't necessarily need it. The wallet's gonna work 100%, whether you get it in the aluminum or the uh, carbon fiber, what have you. This is one of those wallets, and uh, this is the Aviator branded wallet out of Germany. Now, kind of entry point, this is around 75 bucks to start, and if you wanna customize it and spec it out, it's gonna take you upwards to $140.
So one of the coolest things about this wallet that I think is really nice is that as you can see on the front faceplate, regardless of the materials used, there are some screws around the front faceplate. Also, you'll see here that the Aviator comes with a screwdriver. What this is gonna allow you to do, since the basis of this construction is centered around this elastic band, again, no matter what type of wallet you get, it's gonna hold the cash clip here, as well as peep the function and form of the wallet, which is gonna allow you to place your cards inside. If you were to remove this front faceplate, there are these little screws in here that kind of keep this in place. Now you can tighten it up or you can loosen it. And what that's gonna allow you to do is change the capacity of the wallet without affecting the integrity of this elasticized band here. Things like the Ridge Wallet where it doesn't allow you to do that, what happens over time is the strength and rigidity of this gets worn and it kind of loses its form and shape. So if you want to have less cards, if you want to have more cards, the Aviator Wallet can carry from one on up to 20. If you wanted to put more cards in, all you have to do is kind of remove that faceplate adjust the these pins and it will allow you to put more cards into the wallet without warping that elastic band which is nice so right off the jump it gives you a ton of flexibility one to 20 cards and again materials you can get carbon fiber here this is just their aircraft aluminum uh cash clip at the back you can get a couple different designs here there's a few to choose from at the rear of the wallet here, there is a little recessed area here that is meant for a coin tray or case. If you do want to use this for coins, you'll see it's a little bit felt aligned here to keep things from clanging around. But you could probably get around five coins mixed at most. But I would recommend if you are going to use this, that you probably just use it to maybe put some folded up document if it's maybe your car insurance or something like that. And I wouldn't recommend specking this out to a higher end material just because I don't think it's a ton of of use for it. Though what I really like is that no matter what, you're gonna get a fully functioning wallet. You're not gonna miss anything no matter what you decide. If you wanna get a higher quality material or not, the wallet functionally will act the same and you're not gonna have to worry about losing out on the experience if you do decide to enter in at the lowest entry point, which would be this one right here. So really good and I do appreciate that. And there you have it. Another amazing forever wallet for you guys out there and a hard case one at that the Aviator brand out of Germany. Definitely one to take a look at. For this portion of the video, we're gonna be taking a look at what I call a pop-up wallet, basically because they all center around an aluminum card holder that has a mechanism at the bottom, a little lever that pops up or propels the cards forward in a staggered fashion. Now, there's a lot of wallets in the market Secret being the originator, the OG, everybody else kind of knocking off that mechanism, which is a pronged or tooth little lever that staggers the card forward. But either way, they pop up the cards. And I wanna take a look at these two together. One of them is the OG to me. They have a great robust warranty, a great track record. The other is probably the only other pop-up wallet in this price range that feels really well made in terms of the materials, doesn't feel cheap. And in terms of variety and the components and makeup of the wallet on the interior, they are kind of bar none the best out there in terms of selection and price. So why not just quickly get out of the way what these wallets pretty much do the same. Now, these are both housed around an aluminum card holder. The Secret brand out of Holland holds up to seven-ish cards mixed use the Polaris brand wallet out of Poland, another European brand, holds up to eight cards mixed use. So you're getting right off the jump one extra card capacity in this aluminum card holder if you go the Polaris route. When it comes to the cash carrying capacity, obviously on the Polaris line, depending on the make and model, sounds like a car, but depending on the one you get, that's gonna affect how much money you can put into it. But either way, if you get one that carries cash like the one we have here, just know you can easily get up to 10 bills, if not more in there. And when it comes to Secret itself, easily 10 plus bills. And as the leather gets older and begins to stretch and wear, as you can see, I have a ton of bills in here upwards probably close to 20 and obviously with the sacred brand you have to fold these bills in order to fit into this space uh, so that will affect things a little bit but just be aware on either one of these wallets you're going to be able to get up to 10 bills no problem when it comes to the leather, the quality of materials used, I'm going to give the slight nod to Secret here. This wallet has a lovely thick shank of leather. It is a full grain leather. And depending upon the style or color that you get, it is a different type of full grain, but they're all going to be a full grain leather. 
lovely robust stitching this wallet has been used for years and has been stretched out and packed full tight never had an issue if anything over time this wallet with the stretching of the leather just gets better with time and as I mentioned in one of the previous reviews here, it does not coat the outer edges of the wallet in that rubbery plastic acrylic, which I'm super happy to see. The Polaris wallet. Though the leather is not as thick as the Secret, this is also a hand-stitched Italian leather, and it feels really good in the hand. At this price point, all the other wallets that are kind of in this range feel really cheap. The stitching in this wallet also very nice, very strong. The outer edges of this wallet, it's just folded leather stitched onto the interior of the wallet, as you can see here. So again, I'm really happy to see not kind of cheaping out and coating the outer edges of the wallet in that acrylic. And finally, a simple but very appreciated touch is that both of these wallets and brands offer varieties that have a closing mechanism. This one just being your simple button lock, which again, for me over time has probably been the best one versus a magnet. When you pack a wallet tight and if there is no ability for it to close, things like this happen and you never want your wallet flopped open, whether it's in a bag and having things fall out. So again, both of these offer varieties that take care of that problem differences between these two wallets very few but this is where it becomes difficult for me to kind of pick one or the other sacred always to me is the forerunner in terms of quality and they back things up with that three-year warranty i mean aside from the sacred brand being that three-year warranty which is a really nice offer i will give the nod to them offering that thicker more robust leather the Polaris wallet comes in at a better price point, much cheaper, one of the cheapest pop-up card holders on the market. The leather and stitching and the quality is still really, really nice. Um, and though it lacks that warranty, it offers you a huge variety in terms of how it lays out its wallets and its component parts and how things are put together. So it gives you a little bit more fun, a little bit more choice, and it really comes down to that. What do you want? Do you wanna kind of have that three-year warranty and a little bit more peace of mind with the materials and the mechanism, or have a little bit more access to more variety? So there you have it, my two favorite pop-up card holders. If you want to learn more about them, here's a video at the top where I kind of go more in depth, but these are the two front runners here, Sacred and Polaris. And for this one, I really just wanted to shine a spotlight on a custom artisan. Now, this gentleman, his name is Robin Marshall out of Ireland, and his company is called Taurus Leather. Basically, this man makes amazing high-quality leather goods, some custom as well. And the best thing about getting custom things are is that you spec it out to your needs. So in terms of carrying capacity with cards and cash, and especially, you know, a traditional bifold wallet, you're going to get exactly what you're looking for in your EDC when you go this route. This is called the Elder Bifold Wallet, and this is the Willow card holder. Now, this is a custom card holder, which he modified to hold an Apple AirTag. Um, again, one of the beautiful things by going to an artisan that does kind of individual work is that you get to work with them directly and they can make tweaks and adjustments to the products that you're looking for. At the end of the day, out of all the wallets here, I love them all and especially the wing back. The quality is really, really, really high end. But when you hold something custom like this and you see the amount of detail and hard work that goes into it, this Elder Bifold, you can see here with the stitching, it is a very thick gauge thread here, threaded really beautifully in kind of like a little pattern here. And this really is put together amazing. You can see no gaps here, the glue, the thread, Everything is so thoughtful. I mean, everything lines up. You can see here the color difference on the inside to the outside. It's just really beautiful. And as I said, you really can see and feel the difference when you get a custom piece of work like this. He makes all of these wallets in-house out of Ireland. He names them after different trees in Ireland. As you can see, a lot of little details here, the logo, another symbol. Um, the symbols do kind of differ a little bit, uh, and I'm assuming that is to kind of go with the different trees, but there's a ton of really intimate details. I, I do really love testing and looking at artisans from around the world, and this guy really stood out to me, really high-end stuff, and considering I'm showing stuff from all around the world, uh, I really wanted to shine a spotlight on Robin's stuff here out of Ireland. So if you do have an opportunity, take a look. I will put a link to his Etsy in his storefront. Here is information for his email and his Instagram and WhatsApp. And definitely take a look and see because I don't think anybody will be disappointed. The craftsmanship is 
top notch, top shelf in every which way. And I was really impressed with him out of all of the custom artisan stuff that I have used thus far. And there you have it, my favorite top EDC wallets. I want to thank everybody for taking a moment to watch. And if you found the video helpful and you enjoyed what I was producing, if you could drop a like, a sub, leave a comment if you had anything you wanted to see, I would really appreciate that as always. I hope everybody is safe and well out there. And with that, I'm going to say take it easy to everybody. And until next time.